Hey fam, what's up? This is Robert Anton, robertanton.com, coming to you once again with the So You Want to Be a Singer. <laughs> Why you want to do that? <laughs> I cracked me up. Okay, um, <laughs> oh, what am I going to call this uh, So You Want to Be a Singer? I just saw my little uh, thing. I have so many ideas. Um, I want to talk about, uh, with someone, not just recently on MySpace, someone wrote me, and they asked me about how to get their music to sell. Okay, and they say they're a band that doesn't perform out. Um, they've done some songs, and they're trying to get them to sell. Okay, um, and I wrote them back some things, you know, and told them some ways that I am selling my music. Uh, but how do you get your music to sell? It's a great question. If you're not performing out, because one of the best ways to get your music to sell is in the excitement of people seeing you perform live. That is one way to get your your music to sell. Even if you're doing it on digitally on uh, different sites and whatnot, you will sell a lot of hard copy when you perform live if you do a good show. Because people want to take home a physical of, of that night if they had a really good night. They want to have a physical memory. And you know, it's nothing to come up off $10 for a CD uh, to support a struggling artist a lot of times. Not everybody's going to do it, but you will sell more by doing live shows. Um, also, you can find an aggregate. You know, there there's iTunes and there's so many different um, sites. And sometimes iTunes doesn't even take direct sales from people. You have to go through an aggregate. My aggregate is CD Baby. There are also things like The Orchard um, and tape.com or I don't know. There, there's a bunch of them out there. You can look into them. But there is so much um, music for sale all over the place. Just on iTunes, you know, there's millions and millions of songs on sale. So how do you get yours to sell? You just have to be out there. You have to continue to be in the public eye. You have to continue to perform. You have to continue to show people that you're out here doing this and that you are serious about it. Um, as an independent, you need to create a following. You know, people who enjoy your work and want to help support you in what you're doing. Um, you want to continue to write good music all the time. And you want to continue to uh, record that music in the best way possible. Um, I am planning on doing a video about doing recording on a budget because cause quite a few people have asked me about it. So look out for that in the next few weeks. Um, you want to continue to ask people, you know, to purchase your music. You know, I have a, uh, four CDs out. Bigger Than Me is the latest one, and I am continually mailing people on my mailing list and putting up videos on YouTube to say make sure to go out and pick up my CD make sure to go and download bigger than me please <laughs> I'm saying that now make sure to download a few songs if you enjoy what I do download the music if you love the song you keep coming back to listen to it on YouTube bigger than me baby I love you um in his time uh, 10,000 tons, download the song and support an artist. You're just spending a dollar. You know, you have to continually do these things to, to let people know that, listen, some music is free and you can get it for free sometimes, but everything can't be free. You know, people have to, to support their artists. And, you know, when you when you have a big artist, the whole thing about, like, when a, when a major record label is promoting something, they put it out there to everybody, and they make it a game. You know, let's get your favorite artist to the top of the charts. You know, uh, don't let, you know, this person, that person beat them out because they're better than them. And it becomes pretty much a game. But with a rec major record label, how do they sell music? They bombard you. Bombard you <laughs> with this song, these songs, this artist, this image. They put it out on the radio. You know, they make sure that it's heard constantly. They advertise, advertise. They say, they used to say, and this was five, ten years ago, that it takes a million dollars to promote a hit single. A million dollars. They have to spend a million dollars for one single to promote it. So, what is it going to take you as an independent artist? It is going to take a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of work, and some money. Yes, a lot of times it's going to take some money. Um, so, how do you sell your music? There are so many ways, and you have to continually look and find options, places where you can put your music, and, and ways that you can get in front of new people and continue to ask, ask, ask. Please buy this song. Please buy this music. Please help me to continue to do what I love to do for a living. 
All right, this is Robert Anton. I hope this has helped some. Um, if you have more questions, pop down in the comments. Make sure to rate, um, subscribe if you're not, and let me know what you think. Let's let's get this conversation going. This is so you want to be a singer 2010, and I'm out.